Best of Big Build starts Monday at nine. In Bramley, West Yorkshire, the builders have been putting the finishing touches on Chris and Susan's basement conversion. By knocking down a main dividing wall, their dream was to create a stylish, open-plan living and entertaining area, complete with its own bar. To inspire them along the way, their neighbours have passed on tips about coping with the dust and dirt, the merits of living with a basement bar, and blending the old with the new. Yeah. This, isn't it? Fantastic. I love that one up far. Now, the past 10 weeks have proved to be a rather testing time for Susan and Chris. They've had to put up with more mess, dirt and disruption, and don't mention the dust, than they ever thought possible. But they stuck to their guns and with help from their neighbours, they've managed to create the basement that they've always wanted. And I, for one, cannot wait to see how it looks and get out of this weather. Today's a big day for Susan and Chris. They're going to be showing off their new basement to their friends and neighbours for the very first time. As always, though, I'm privileged to be getting a special advanced viewing. Mind your head, Donna, Amanda. I will do. I'm very excited. Not this is going to be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amanda, this is it. Lost for words. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Good. Fantastic, Good. isn't it? It's really lovely. Chris and Susan have worked wonders in their basement. It's hard to believe that just 10 weeks ago, this whole area was mouldy and musty and the walls were wet through with damp. Has it turned out how you wanted it to be? Um, yes, yeah. yeah, in fact, better. It's just so vast, yeah. it's unbelievable. What was once a dark, dingy cellar is now a warm and welcoming room. It's the perfect place to relax after a hard day's work. Where there was once a central wall, there's now a spacious open plan living room ideal for entertaining. By restoring their original Yorkshire stone fireplace, they've now created a real focal point and retained plenty of Victorian charm. With the old comes the new. Chris's beloved new bar is in place, complete with its trendy neon blue drinks display the transformation doesn't stop there. Their tired old utility room has had a major makeover. And their old coal cellar, a shiny new loo. So did you find the neighbours' visits really helpful? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, um, I don't think, we've not copied anything no. that they've got, but it, we're going to John's house yeah. Um, yeah. that made us actually see yeah. so warm In and cosy um, that it made me think yeah we can can do that what you've done and what i love about it is that you've cherry picked little bits from everybody's but it's totally your own it doesn't look like it's not like, oh, we're in Nicky's house or we're in John's house. It's like we're in your house. But when we did see Nicky's, we said, that's it, we've got to have a wooden floor. Mm. So we decided on that and she had the spotlights in the roof, mm. didn't Nicky? So obviously we've stole a bit of her idea we're having the spotlights in the roof. When we went to John's, he had the lights round. The wall lights. Yeah. The wall lights. That's right, and you've done that here. And we've done that here. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Are you chuffed with it? It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. What they've created is the perfect place for Susan to play with her granddaughter, Georgia. Ready, steady. While Chris watches on and tries to pick the winner of the 12.15 at Haydock. And one thing I'm willing to bet on is that this area is going to provide the family with hours of quality time together. But it's what's at the other end of the room that I can't wait to get a closer look at. Can I be barmaid then? Oh, yep, right. oh, I bet you everybody that comes down here wants to be barmaid or barmaid. Everybody person. wants to be the landlord. Really? Or the landlady. <laughs> yep, without a doubt. You know you're obviously going to get the problem now, though, that you have this brilliant entertaining space that any birthday party, Christmas, New Year, everyone's coming around here, aren't they? That's well, good. <laughs> that's what you want? Well, we christened it on New Year's Eve, didn't we? <laughs> Did you, before it was yeah. even finished? Before yes. it was even finished and we managed to get rid of them at 5.30 in the morning. And everybody wants to be a landlord and a landlady. Yeah. And it I was, was going to say, great. how many people did you have behind here? Oh, there was all behind there. It <laughs> was great, they were pulling the drinks. 
and the partying is about to start all over again. This time at the official opening to their friends and neighbours. It's the hottest ticket in town <gasps> and the perfect opportunity to christen the couple's new bar. And first to arrive is Nikki with her husband Ian and baby Arthur. This is it. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks amazing. I love the fireplace. It just feels really warm and cosy. Good. The guests are arriving thick and fast now, and the new room certainly seems to be getting a unanimous seal of approval. So, what, what wow. do you think? <laughs> Next to pass judgment is neighbour John and his wife Maureen. What do you think? Oh, it's lovely. We've took a little bit from your cellar with the wall lights. Mm. Well, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Really, 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 really good. Yeah. Chris and Susan's renovated basement is getting a big yeah. thumbs up. Nice is why Mara has never been in. <laughs> Uh, and the bar, well, that's proving to be an instant hit with everybody. So what do you think of it, Arthur? Do you like it? Is it lovely? It is, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's clear to see that Chris and Susan have created a perfect place for parties. But what do the people who offered them the inspiration really think? They've done really, really well. It's absolutely brilliant what they've done. And I'm really proud to be uh, part of it. I know when they came round to ours, they were really impressed with our floors. Um, so I'm quite proud that they can take something away from ours and use it on their own design. It's a great space for entertaining, clearly. <laughs> the party's in full swing. And as a surprise for Chris and Susan, I've invited a very special guest along. <laughs> After all, what's the perfect bar without the perfect bartender? Move over, Tom Cruise. And it's only fitting that the coolest cocktail of them all is for Susan and Chris. <laughs> Time for a speech, I think. Thanks to Nikki and to Ian for sharing your house with us and letting us pick ideas. Maureen and John, who gave us inspiration from your house. And thanks to all my friends that are here today to celebrate with us. I'll treat to that. <laughs> It's really hard to think back to when I first came here and it was just a dark, dank, cold cellar. Now, I think you're going to struggle to get them all out of here and having a look at it, it's definitely going to be a bit of a party place. And talking of parties, I'm going to go back and join them.